Summoner's War Lost Centuria. Let's watch the intro first, guys, and talk later. Even in the peaceful Afrana Kingdom, the war clouds were looming. When the king was killed, the kingdom was split, and the war between the lords began across the entire continent. Among them, Summoner Kadugan put the continent in terror while subduing other lords with powerful monsters. So this was the intro guys, I hope you like the intro and the game is even more cooler guys. I hope it is as good as I am thinking and this will be a series guys so it's not a one video game, one video walkthrough so it will be a series of videos for this game and if you like this guys please like subscribe and comment on my video and let's get started this game this is a new game online game that you guys should really play it, it just came out about a month or two months about a month ago and i wanted to play this game for a long time so basically guys they had uh, this company come to us had a first game named summoners war this is the second game the second series of the same game with more animation and more uh, more 3d touch to it so i'm hoping a great deal that this game would be awesome and do check out this game guys it's for android it's a new game for android in 2021 summoners war low centuria so this is the tutorial they are teaching me how to play the game going through all the stuff so this is these are the cards i click and the relevant monster attacks the enemy the enemy defense gets weakened so nice cool animation guys they have cool animation props to them so this is so every every monster has a card that I can use. There is a bar at the bottom that gets filled, I guess. As the bar gets filled, I get turns and I can hit the enemy. Final attack. So this was the first battle guys. I got the victory and reward. So you get cards in the reward. Got a new monster. His name is Finn. Okay. Let's just click it. So the the tutorial is not over. We still need to play some levels. The second battle I guess they will teach me some more things this is the attribute circle okay fire is stronger on wind wind is stronger on water water is stronger on fire and 
the other two were I guess light and dark so according to the attribute hierarchy I need to kill the monsters so as you can see guys here there is an okay, there is an orange circle around the enemy that is currently active and that monster is the monster that my team will attack see the orange circle is currently on the enemy oh shit I wanted to heal them currently on this monster see the orange circle so according to the attributes water is more effective on on the fire monster so I am hitting with the water monster as you can see it's doing a great deal of damage and I just won the barrel again and I love these rewards what do I get another monster a green card so I guess it's a rare monster Ramagos so we got a new monster guys Ramagos yep this is the third part of the tutorial that we are playing we are still learning the game we are still new to the game and I am hoping that you are enjoying as I am enjoying this game it has cool graphics and nice gameplay so another reason why I'm doing a series is because okay what's she saying if you are skill cutting skill okay so this is Ramagos he is a one wind monster that is effective on I guess water so you need to remember the attributes circle water is water is effective on fire fire is effective on wind and wind is effective on fire and they are weak the other way around for example fire is weak on water water is weak on wind and wind is weak on fire it's a little complicated but if you get it you you can easily choose monsters see there that was a wind monster I I attacked with the fire one and he did massive damage so there are also monsters that support for example this penguin monster that's that gives shield to the other monster and helps them so we got attack monsters we got support monsters and this I guess I have won this battle as well Another reason guys why I'm, I wanted to make this not just a single video and series is because I want to play it through to the end and I want you guys to live the experience with me and if you like you could also play with the play the game and we can be friends I guess help each other during in the game so I got a card now what's this use it wisely can we card only once so I guess guys the third the third stage is cleared I need to write my name obviously I am gonna write my channel name great AQ Okay, we're done. No spaces. Okay, now we got to confirm. Then, this is the last battle, guys. Last part of the tutorial. The last part of the training. And so far, the game has been nice to see, nice to play, nice to watch. And see, you can see the orange circle. It's what it was on the wind monster. That's why I used a fire one. I can use wind for wind, 
they can also damage but if I use a weaker monster like water it's not gonna take that much so try to so now another wind monster I learned something guys if the enemy is attacking you get a you get a slight second to counter it slight second so for example if your monster is see there I countered so if your monster is about to die you can counter it and heal the monster before the enemy can attack that way you can save the monster from dying it's a nice small tip I guess there we go down so only fire monsters are left I am using this wind one it's not doing any much damage so I will use the water one see the water one just crushes the enemy easily now I want to give the support and now the fire attack there we go easy peasy and here is the ending attack so not so much of a challenge at the moment doable I guess I got a purple card now but I think it's a rare card and I got a new monster Kamun so I guess guys the tutorial is done and I got a cool new monster that we will try but for now thank you guys for watching the video I'm s I will see you in the next video because oh rank up I reached bronze 5 I will see you in the next video please like subscribe and comment so I can keep on making videos for you guys and